Uh, yesterday I did a video on what's available in my previews. Uh, I'm going out to San Diego and they asked for flyers, what would be involved in the preview, and I thought, well, let me do some videos on them and see if it's going to make sense to people. Uh, one of the videos got cut short, so I'm going to try and do it again. Uh, I've got a little piece of paper here for reminders. Uh, one of the things that we do is we explore a new learning method that I discovered uh, quite a few years ago, and it's based on two different operating systems an operating system where you, that you came in running on that's based on happiness and an antiquated one that you kind of learned and is not that efficient towards making bringing you to happiness but one of the things that you'll get out of an evening is you'll get some of the aspects of what I call emotional Aikido uh, the basic principles of Aikido it's a martial art is that if people are getting into a fight and they're coming at you they don't really want to hurt you so you have to protect them as best you can and throughout the whole interchange you protect the other person and get what you want out of it which is safety right if one of the things I know most people leave my classes happier than when they come in most people not all people of course I mean this is not a panacea uh, and when they leave what I tell them is you know if you're happier what one of the things that I know is that uh, your happiness can be taken away from you. Circumstances in life, other people who are not so happy coming in and impacting you. And if you don't know that, it's so simple for it to be taken away. Now, if somebody who's less happy comes in and impacts you and tries to take your happiness away, and then you try to prove to them they've taken your happiness away, then you're in a fight with them about your happiness. But if you can embrace them and their unhappiness and allow them to come into your life and see can you impact them in order to enhance their happiness, that will enhance your happiness. If you can't, you'll have the ruthlessness to look and say, okay, right now I don't want to deal with this, and you need to go away, right, so I can maintain and sustain my happiness. And we are, we come in on the planet as happy little beings, right? We know how to do it, we just kind of forget. Now, in a preview evening, it's not going to be like a full class. I'm not going to have time to run you through drills and drills and drills like I do in a, in a weekend. In the weekend, uh, if I find your happiness, I'll take it away from you. <laughs> Sneaky, huh? And awful. Yes, really. But I'll take it away from you, then I'll point it out that I've taken your happiness away, right? And then you'll get to see how I took it away, and you'll get to see how you, what, what it takes for you to gain it back. Because for me to take it to levels of happiness is not relevant to you or me. But if I can show you that it's been taken, and then you can figure out a way to find it again, that is relevant. That's a learning method. And we do that with a lot of the things in your life. Fun, excitement, all those things. And it's a brilliant co-creative process. I do it because I keep finding more ways to find my way back to my own happiness. Uh, and that's, that's I mean, I, I very selfishly do my work. And I hope that explains a little bit of what I do.